Hey guys, so it is uh, Sunday. It is almost one o'clock and we've just been having a heck of a time this morning uh, getting packed. Um, there's all my stuff getting packed. Uh, right now we are in a little situation. Let's go over here. Let's have a chat by the sink here. All right, so I'm still getting my cosplay for today ready for the rest of the day. Um, for Kriggery, I decided to wear Jigglypuff both Friday and Saturday. And unfortunately, this year I wasn't nominated again. So for Shukan Queen, so I'm a little sad, but it's it's life. So, um, but right now we're in a little bit of a situation. Last year, I don't know if you if I mentioned it in the vlog or not during Vita last year, but uh, one of our friends had lost his Shukan bag, and it had not only like his signed stuff in it, but it also had his keys. So we had to drive him back and he had to drive back separately to go get his car with a spare key. Well, it turns out, again, um, our friend had, who's staying with us in the room this time, a different person, uh, lost his keys. Well, I don't know if he lost them or they dropped somewhere, but we can't find them. We've looked all over the room and now we might have to bring him back and there's his Oogie Boogie costume cosplay right now and I never actually showed you guys apparently outside that we have a view of downtown Lansing like this is part of the row of the Capitol's on the other side but here's the convention center where the convention's being held at and maybe you can see a few people walking and then this skywalk right here uh, links us to the hotel but yeah so right now just the irony that this person has never lost their keys and that for the second year in a row we have someone who cannot find their keys and we may have to drive back to get their car. So yeah. Um, Vita is going well. I haven't uploaded my videos in a few days but I still plan to upload like stuff from each day because I, the hotel Wi-Fi is so slow and I felt really bad so technically I'm still not going to fail. Um, but yeah, so I'm just letting you know what's going on and checking in and getting my stuff together and how does this, how do you feel right now, Chris, about all this? He's just going to say, all right. But yeah, because uh, he's going to have to drive back to here. But I figure, whoops, uh, maybe you can see what I have so far for Kriggity. Um I got my nicer boots. I got uh, like armors as a socks, black skirt. I don't have my jacket and tie on yet, but um, here's where that is, and then my wig is over there. So yeah, let's still have fun today. Hey guys, so I'm in my full Kyoko Kanegiri cosplay right now. The only thing that's really different is that I got new boots from Yomakan, and then I trimmed my bangs. Hi. Hi. Interesting. It's boogie. I was vlogging. Okay. All right. I don't have my hat on. Ah. So all your bugs are gone. Oh. But yeah, guess what? Our friend found his keys. So yay, we don't have to drive back. Oh god, it's all gonna be locked. What? Hi. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna go enjoy the con for the rest of the day. I really have been bad taking pictures and vlogging. I've been so preoccupied trying to. Well, actually, both of us. We're preoccupied trying to get nominated for Shudokan Queen, but neither of us did. So, oh well. Uh, I'm going to go enjoy the rest of the con, and I'm going to go get a video game. And, yeah, that's about it. I'll see you guys later. Bye! Over the at Westside. What are you doing, Deadpool? I'm doing something. Can okay, you guys turn in Come on. <laughs> hey, guys. So, it is April 6th. 11.45 at night as this is being recorded. So my Vita vlogs have been a little behind. I do apologize. Um, I was at Shudokan this past weekend and I was recording as much as I could. Um, one problem was that the hotel Wi-Fi was kind of really, really slow. So unfortunately, like it took me almost over two hours to upload a five minute vlog and I'm like, okay, yeah, you know what? If people think I fail Vita, that's fine, but I'm still going to consider myself not failing Vita by actually getting my vlogs uploaded to the best of my ability as soon as I can when I get home, when I actually have internet that I know is reliable for me. So I did record every day, so I'm going to try and have everything up. So, I mean, I'm going to do everything in order. So by the time this is up, you, the past Vita vlogs that I've been behind on should be up. Yeah. Also, one of my friends who was staying with me was not a person that really wanted to be on camera. 
I wanted to respect his privacy, of course, because he's a very good friend of mine. So I vlogged as much as I could when I could, uh, you know, to the best of my ability to show you guys partially what was into my weekend. But quick little overview, um, just like talking. Uh, we got there Friday morning. Uh, took me forever to get ready. I missed the Pokemon photo shoot. I wore Jigglypuff on Friday and Saturday. So I missed the Pokemon photo shoot, but I was getting ready and getting ready for my panel that I had that Friday at 4 p.m. So it was around 3.15 and you know I'm all ready. I'm walking around the convention center and somebody pulled the fire alarm. And you know I was already a little stressed out about my panel. Like I had everything planned and set out but I just still had like nerves like no one's gonna show up. I'm gonna screw something up and no one's gonna like it and blah 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 blah. All this negativity I had inside my head. Uh, it kind of like got a little more heightened uh, my stress levels when someone pulled the fire alarm so we were outside for almost you know 20 minutes uh 20 25 minutes and then we get to my room where i'm supposed to have the panel 15 minutes before it starts and unfortunately because of the fact that the fire alarm was pulled uh there was a panel that still had to, you know it was there was a panel there they still had to at least get in as much information as they could so they were in the room until the last minute till four PM. So when we get in there, right at 4, we try and get everything set up, and unfortunately there wasn't any Wi-Fi, which I didn't expect. So there was a portion of my panel that I was expecting to talk about that was cut out, but everything turned out alright in the end. Like, we went up until the last minute at 5, and no one was after us, so it was okay to a point. Well, we had to get out of the room, but still. There, the panel was great. It was full of a lot of discussion between me and people who attended, and uh, my friend Alice, who helped me host the panel as well, like, she was definitely able to give, she gave her input, and it was just a very good, helpful, educational learning experience, I believe, for people who, you know, really didn't know that much, and, you know, brought new light to what you could really use YouTube for as a um, social entertainment medium. So I was really happy about how everything turned out, you know, there's a lot of question and answers, and... It just, I was so worried about it, and I'm just, just so happy that people did come up to me and say it was a good panel, and I was really excited, and yeah. I do want to give a huge shout out to Jessica, who I got to meet on Saturday, her and her husband. It was a pleasure to meet you, and you had the cutest and like most lovely original Fluttershy cosplay, especially with your wig. It was, I believe, this side. Yeah. That side of your head, yeah, it was, she had like a cute little braid with a flower, and it was so adorable, and I loved it, and you were adorable, and I was really awkward talking, because I'm really bad with talking to people, not that I don't like talking to people, but I was just like, I'm at a loss for words, very easily, I promise you, you might get a different idea when I'm talking on camera, because I feel like I'm talking to a camera, and just whatever I say is good, but like, when I'm actually talking to someone, I want to talk, I just don't know what to say or how to keep the conversation going. It is definitely one of my flaws. So you are beautiful and you are lovely and I cannot wait to see you again. I did wear Kyoko for like literally an hour on Saturday and then for a, about an hour Sunday because the boots I bought for her, um, I got them at the Salvation Army and I realized why they were donated to the Salvation Army because uh, they were killing me oh my god like I literally could not walk so hopefully I get to I want to keep Kyoko Kirigiri I love that cosplay I love the character but what also got me down was that um I saw quite a few other people cosplaying her and I mean that's to be expected with Danganronpa I mean it is getting popularity and I just the reason I love to wear Jigglypuff is because I feel like no one else does it and I feel like I want to stand out when I cosplay, like, try and be original. So maybe, um, I do want to do Junko and Oshima from Danganronpa at Yomakon, but I kind of want to do my own twist on it and make it a little more original instead of just her, an ex her exact outfit. And there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, sometimes it is really, really fun to go to a photo shoot and you have, like, all these people who love the same character, and it's... It's really fun, but just sometimes for me, I really like to do something different, which is why I do Jigglypuff a lot, because I really never, I maybe have seen one, I've seen only one other Jigglypuff cosplayer, but it's not to the extent that they cosplayed as Jigglypuff, go around with a microphone singing the way I do, so that's why I take great pride in doing it, and I just, 
it's something I love to do because I love to see the reactions of people when I start singing Jigglypuff or saying Jigglypuff and they're all like, oh my god, you can do the voice and it just makes me happy to see other people happy. So I am going to retire Jigglypuff for a little bit because I feel I've, you know, I've done her so much, him, her, um, I've done Jigglypuff so much that, you know, Maybe it's just time for a break, and because I love to do Jigglypuff, it's prevented me really from, like, investing my time into making something new and actually getting into the art of cosplaying to actually learn the abilities, so make outfits of my own. I also got to meet Carries, who's a wonderful cosplayer, and does, like, I think one of the best Junkos I've ever seen in person. Like, she did this original one at Yomacon where it was, she had, like, this baseball theme going on. It was really wonderful, and... So I got to meet her and talk to her for a little bit, and it was wonderful, and I can't wait to see you again at Yomacon. So I did have a wonderful time at Shudokan. Thank you so much to Shudokan for letting me and my friend Alice host our panel. I hope I'm able to bring it to Yomacon and improve on it. And so, you know, and remember to have details in, be better prepared for not having internet. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you for my next video on Vita, hopefully, because I plan to continue. Alright, bye!